Root it. Is it beneficial to our young women that's coming up? Yeah. Man, I feel like if you allow your children to listen to that type of music, that's on you. And if, you, if, you, if they take something from it, which most people do take a little something from music, then, hey, the man, it, it, it's a, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think you can take the chair from music. Yeah. You definitely can't take I think, I think I, you gotta be like you gotta be super controlling to to stop your channel from hearing anything. Something that's that's as replayed and as as like recirculated throughout social media. Mm-hmm. Put them and not hear that. Like which is crazy. Unless they just unless they just, the unless they just not culture. You know what I mean? They not they don't come from our culture and they don't follow the things I follow. I mean the things that we follow then yeah. Like but if you're on social media, nine times out of ten you've seen that shit. Mm-hmm. And just going to certain places, yeah. like the shit's so widespread nowadays, it's hard to miss the shit. It's a copycat. It's a copycat world out here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? If somebody say some shit, and you ain't, if you know, you know. Right. And if you don't know, then you're not in the know. That's nobody won't not be in the know. So imagine this. So how? So is it beneficial? I want to not be in the know. I don't. I don't want to know. All the time. I don't want to know. know. You no. don't want to know. No, because I like my own. Ignorance is business. bliss sometimes. No, like God. I like. I like being in my own world. I understand that. So let me ask you this. So, so as far as the bit, like, what, what you think is the benefits of, I guess the music, I guess the music, of, like, you know what I mean? Well, that's what I was asking. Because there, there was a trainer. There was a trainer before there was a, before there was a, a, right. a, a sexy red. There was a, a Suki Honda before there was a sexy red. There was a, um, but I, feel like like a little who, Kim, I feel like those a, who are on the same Nicki Minaj, a Cardi B. Suki Honda and sexy red on the same level to me, so. Yeah, I can take it back. That was an uncle who. Yeah. I was just about to say that shit. So like, so like, is it really? So it's it's obviously sustainable. It's all pussy pop music. It just changed. Like, is the quality of it's declining like a motherfucker? But that the quality but is. It's, it's just all the same. Man. So so the so to speak on the benefits of it. What is it, it? It, it, it? The club culture. You can say the club culture will always be a certain way because you know what I'm saying. And like think about it, music is also a kind of it also but like, it, it also connects people. Yeah. It depends on what you're going to. If, if, if it's beneficial if it's if, if you're going to for entertainment. Okay, yeah, I can definitely say they do look like they have a shit ton of fun. Right. But that's it. But I mean, if you want to think about some it, motherfuckers embrace that full heartedly, like the embodiment of the lyrics. It's not too. It's not too many lyrics out there that's that's really that really have a message beyond. It. Honestly, if you gonna listen to a song, like maybe that um, Dirk song, recently. Yeah, all my life. All my all life. That might have a message behind it. They got little Tupac kids and like that. Messages behind it. But yeah. outside of that, Tupac used to have shit with a lot of messages behind it. But most of the music is just it's, it's microwave. It's just yeah. sound good, make you move, move, move. Yeah. Don't really have Root it. To it.